So here we have Bantam's edition of the set of five books of A Song of Ice and Fire, or more popularly known as the Game of Thrones uh, book series. Uh, this is a lot smaller from the Harper Voyager slipcase deluxe edition, the blue ones in the back there. Um, the one in the back here is very obviously created for collectors and very obviously to stay put on your bookshelf or perhaps to be you know to be uh, read at home um, certain things are created not to be carried around that much is obvious and this one here um, a lot of people acquire this particular set so that they can carry each of the books I do not know anybody who carried all five um, because that wouldn't be practical. But if you were to carry just one after the other, this is pretty manageable. Although some of us, uh, myself included, prefer to carry our books digitally, even though um, reading off computer screens or tablet screens, um, reading digital books aren't my favorite things to do. Um, I dislike having to carry the extra weight more. But whenever possible, I prefer physical books. And so these ones here are about, in terms of length, about 16 centimeters or about six and a quarter inches long, about four and a half or four and a three quarters inches wide or about 12 centimeters wide. And the thickness, of course, varied from book to book. Um, some of them are thicker than the other. So let's weigh this and see how much this way I have a um, kitchen um, thingy here. So let's turn that on and see how much this way. Okay, this one weighed, let me show you, 43 grams. Book two, A Clash of Kings, weigh... Hold on a second. Make sure it says zero before I put this on. That's 51 gram. The third book, A Storm of Swords, is again wanting to make sure that this thing returned to zero. That is 59.3 grams. Um, I will let you guys translate to whatever uh, unit um, you are accustomed to. So, zero. Book th four is 53.6 grams. And the last book, A Dance with Dragon, is... Just waiting for it to go back to zero. 55 gram point four. So those are the weight of each. And um, it is made of something that looks like leather, but it is definitely synthetic. And when you touch it, you can feel it immediately. And when you put these back in, it squeaks a little bit and, and it's a little bit... Um, not quite sticky is not the word, pert I think might be the word, it has this sort of, you can feel like almost as if when you're, when you're gliding your hand on something that's made of plastic or rubber, it has that, it has that sort of feeling to it, um, but it's very flexible, it feels, it has the, it has the consistency of leather, but the tactile feel of it is definitely, um, you can almost immediately feel so that's that. Um, not that that's a big issue. Uh, the other thing is that, if you can see here, these came to me um, not quite in order um, because unlike the bigger set, it doesn't actually have an indication as to which one is book one, which one is book two, which one is three, four, and five. It came actually kind of a jumble when it arrived in the post. I bought this from Book Depository. Uh, you can also purchase this from Amazon, and I will put a link down below, an affiliate link, which um, will give me a little commission in store credits. Uh, Amazon can't issue money or cash because I'm in New Zealand. And so the only drawback is that it doesn't 
um, say which number book it is. And um, if I haven't already mentioned it, this is by Bantam of New York. And of course the font's smaller uh, compared to the larger size books given that it is a smaller book so it's a little bit more crowded. The reading experience isn't as crisp or as uh, soothing, as, as fresh in the eyes, but it is pretty good. Um, the points is probably about an eight pointer I'm thinking. Definitely smaller than the standard font and as you can see here, there's shadowing from the printing on the other side of the paper because the paper is pretty thin. It almost reminds me, it actually feels, if you close your eyes and just touch it, it has the consistency, it has the feel of uh, one of those small Gideon Bibles that you often uh, found in um, hotel or motel rooms. Um, at least the last time I was in a motel in a hotel, there's all, often that um, that kind of small Bible by Gideon, if any of you recall that, if you guys know what I'm talking about. So it has that sort of feel, and it's very non-frill really. It's a lovely edition of a non-frill book, compact, um, so no extra art other than the basic, for example, that's the House of Erin. Uh, that's the one that uh, we saw in one of the um, decoration of, if you haven't seen that previous video, I will link a video showing you the deluxe edition by Harper Voyager there at the end of this video. So all, that's, all that is um, essential to the book, original to the book are all there. And I think that's the only decorative part is that one there. But other than that, so that's by Bantam uh, Books, New York. Yeah, so that's, um, again, my affiliate link uh, from uh, Amazon to purchase this on Amazon down below. You can also get this from Book Depository, I believe. Um, and I will talk to you again later.